Hi, I'm Jackie Carter. I coordinate the Character Counts program for Queen Anne's County, which involves our volunteers as character coaches in the classroom on a weekly basis, as well as community mentors who work with individual students both inside and outside the school system. And on May 7th, we actually honored our volunteers with the Character Counts Volunteer Recognition Social. A little bit different this time, uh, and we just had a nice get-together, which you're going to be seeing shortly. And we also had our supporters from the school system. So really, we're honoring not only our volunteers, but those who support us as well. There was a poem that was given to our participants at the event on May 7th, and I would like to read that poem. And this is an anonymous poem. To our volunteers, the gift of time is priceless. Valuable is the work you do. Outstanding is how you always come through. Loyal, sincere, full of good cheer, untiring in your efforts throughout the year. Notable are the contributions you make, trustworthy in every project you take, eager to reach your every goal, effective in the way you fulfill your role, ready with a smile like a shining star, special and wonderful, that's what you are. And all of our volunteers are shining stars, whether they're coaches in the school, mentors, board members, or those who come forward in the community to support us in any way, shape, or form that they can. We appreciate it, and we hope you enjoy the program that you're now going to see. Thank you. It is our hope. Testing. Testing. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? It is our hope that you are enjoying the fellowship thus far. At this time, we would like to invite Chris Gruppenhoff, who's going to come and give us our purpose for the evening. Thank you. Actually, I have an announcement. Uh, my new name is Chris Perkins. Hey, that's my husband over there. And, and we're going to the Cheesecake Factory. So, now I got, we got married back in October, so very happy. So, anyway, um, the purpose for us to night is just to celebrate. Celebrate all our volunteers, the mentors, the care to counts coaches, and I want to thank Jackie personally. It was a long time ago that she convinced me that I needed to be a care to counts coach. I was the coordinator and I said, oh, no way I'm going to go in front of any children and do any of that. That's, that's too much for me. So when I finally started, it was really a blessing. It was such a blessing. And I've been doing it every, every year ever since. And I've been doing it at Manapeak Elementary School. And I love the school. Mrs. Camp, I'm glad you're here. And Doreen, it's been a wonderful experience. So if you have any friends um, that would be interested in coaching, I just really highly recommend the whole experience. Uh, the teachers are wonderful. They really embrace the coaches coming in. So, But we are celebrating tonight. And I also want to. Uh, say something about the mentors. I haven't stepped into that position yet. I'm really seriously giving it some thought about being a mentor someday. And um, I feel like I have a little bit of time yet to do that. And I want to really um, embrace that when I do decide to do that. But I want to celebrate everybody tonight. And I thank you all for being here and being a part of this celebration tonight. It's wonderful to see you all and to be involved with Character Counts for so long. It, it has just truly blessed my life, and I want to thank Jackie. Jackie, <laughs> Jackie has been by my side for so long. She was always doing all the training for me when I was a coordinator and just stepped in and did such a beautiful job. And um, this is really a bittersweet evening. <laughs> i am uh, just been so touched. I know she'll be involved, and she's probably going to hopefully be a coach um, or at least a mentor or some, some involvement, I'm sure. But um, I really want to thank Jackie for all that she's done for us. And so, um, but that's our purpose tonight, just to celebrate. And thank you again for being here.
thank you so much, Mrs. Perkins, <laughs> for that. At this time, we have a special presentation that we would like to present. This is a video entitled Dear Fifth Graders that was created by Delaney and Cassidy. And Cassidy is here with us tonight. If you could stand and wave your hand. So we would just like to call your attention to the front, please. Dear fifth grade students, here's a few things you'll need to know if you want to be good characters all your life. Always appreciate, don't you ever hate, be kind of friends each and every day. When you treat them right, they'll be the perfect fun. Being trustworthy, being there when you need. Give them good advice, always be nice. Slip them up if they fall and get some ice. If you can earn respect, a friend they won't forget. Be a friend with me, be, be a friend with me. You gotta know how to be a good character. Everything all right. Dear fifth grade students, here's a few things you'll need to know if you want to be good characters all your life. Dear fifth grade students, if you want to get respect and care, be a good citizen and treat everyone right. After every fight, just apologize. Take the responsibility if you're not right. It's what you call respect. Why disagree? Why, why disagree? You gotta know how to be a good citizen. Recycle, be kind and friendly. Wear a helmet while riding your bike. Dear fifth grade students, here's a few things you'll need to know if you want to be good characters all your life. Dear fifth grade students, include friends, don't leave them lonely, and you'll never be alone on weekend nights. Be responsible and get that book read. Don't tell lies and you are trustworthy. Don't have a rude mind, just be a caring guy. Give teachers respect, other students respect. You gotta know how to be respectful. No bad names are terrible. Make sure the message is right. Dear fifth grade students, here's a few things you'll need to know if you wanna be good characters all your life. Students better treat each other right. Yes, I got it. <laughs> yes. Let's give her a hand. So first, I would like to thank the Board of Education for inviting us to come join. Although Delaney couldn't make it, I know she was honored to be invited as well. So we created the video over iMovie, and we created it for Delaney's younger brother, and she is her, his character counts coach. We decided to make the video because, well, the fifth graders were getting tired of the same old lecture about respect, and we decided to give them something a little more that they would pay attention to and actually get something out of. And as you can tell, we, you know, aren't the best singers in the world, but we tried our best to um, accommodate everything. So I would like to say thank you again. I believe we, um, it's time for some more door prizes. Who has the... Uh...
All right, this is for a Lowe's gift card. Ooh. All that yard work we have to do, right? All right, last three numbers, seven, two, four. All right. Okay, next one is for Tarjay. Ooh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right, last three numbers, 705. Thank you, and congratulations again to our winners. Now, Miss Jackie Carter is going to come up and tell us a little bit about the power of volunteers. Well, volunteers are very powerful. This organization would not exist without them. And then it was even more empowering when we went to a mentoring program as well to find that there were people out here that I wouldn't dare stand in front of a classroom of kids and do a presentation, but I will work with a student individually to help them grow to become whatever it is that they are thinking about becoming or maybe they didn't even think about it and our mentors have been doing a fantastic job in helping our children increase their academic success as well as behavior and just a positive sense of self and it's really been wonderful to see the, the great journeys that have come out of these mentoring relationships but our character coaches have always been there and they're mentors as well on a group situation and many times a kid will stop by at my exhibit table or something and just talk about what they learn from their coach or how important it is to have these coaches, these individuals who give up their time and say, hey, this is wonderful. And you know, you're all powerful because I'm going to tell you right now, and I got it on paper here. So it's true. The independent sector actually estimates how much it costs for volunteer hours. And in Maryland, we have a pretty high rate. We're the fourth state that has a very high rate for our volunteers at $26.41 an hour. And when you look at, we have 106 character coaches, we have eight mentors, and, you, and I'm not even adding in my board members for both the mentoring and the character count. So these are just our troops who's got their feet on the ground. When you add in the amount of time that they put into this, if I had to pay them, my hair would be totally white. Um, it would cost $119,320.38. So you are really worth gold to us. But you're worth even more to the young people that you're dealing with of all ages because you do make a difference. And do I know it's effective? Well, my goodness, we now have eighth graders who are character coaches, both at Sudlersville Middle School and Centerville Middle School. We have 39 eighth graders who think it's a privilege and an honor to be character coaches and to be leaders of character in their schools. And then you see, here we've got eighth graders thinking about, I need service learning hours for the um, Junior National Honor Society. That's how Dear uh, Fifth Grade Video came about, because a mom called me, who happens to be a character coach, and says, my daughter wants to be doing this. So she helped plan. They helped plan all the lessons, do the presentations and whatnot. I think it's wonderful. I have a 10th grade student who came to me in the, in the fall who wants to do her Girl Scout Gold Award. Now, it's not going to be done to 2017, so unfortunately, 
I'll still see it somehow, but I won't be able to help guide along. But it's at Queen Anne's County High School, Sydney K. And she's putting together a group of students who are going to be doing productions. They're going to do videos that are based on the six pillars. So they got to put that all together. They got to write it. They got to do the costuming, the acting, the directing, everything. And they will be doing it on the three levels, elementary, middle school, and high school. And then those videos will be available to the schools to use how they wish. Morning announcement sounds pretty good. School counselors, especially at the elementary level, or some type of an assembly could work very well. And this is going to be a long involvement here. So, and I know Connie Dean's got things under control, so that's going to be wonderful, and I can't wait to see. And of course, it's going to go on QAC TV, and I want to thank Jeff and did Ted leave? Oh, he sit down. <laughs> All right, he didn't fall asleep, did he? Okay, very good. <laughs> for being here and filming this for QAC TV, which brings me to supporters. We could not do this. The value of our supporters, if I tried to compute that, it would be million dollars probably uh, because there's so much done in kind and the school system has been a staunch supporter of this organization our principals our school counselors uh, the teachers we couldn't do this without your help and embracing and even when I come up and just say hey we're gonna start a new program of course I, I check with Carol first and Carol didn't say no so I just go into the principals guess what we're gonna do now we're gonna go into mentoring and nobody batted an eye which shows me how important the Character Counts organization is in our county. I mean, I haven't heard, there probably might be, but I haven't heard of another county who has Character Counts in their school district plan. That's pretty impressive for that to happen. It's impressive that our county government allows employees an hour every week on company time to be a volunteer in the program. And our businesses, many of our businesses do the same thing. We have schools that want to apply for being a county school of character. And right now, I know we have three who are going to apply this year, because we have Sellersville Elementary, we have Churchill Elementary, and we have Sellersville Middle School who want to apply. And guess what? We finally have a state school of character. Queen Anne's County High School. Thank you, Jackie. So now I'm expecting, because now I know Centerville Elementary said, well, we want to be that too. I said, of course you can. And they received, they tried some years ago and got honorable mention. Well, you know, it's really hard to become a state school of character. Most don't get it on the first try. This is the first time for Queen Anne's County High School. Centerville Elementary tried and got honorable mention. Well, that's pretty good. It's better than promising practices. That's what I told them. I said, come on, let's, let's try again. So now they're, they're going to do the route. Let's do the county school of character and then apply for the uh, state. But I also said the same thing to our Sellersville schools. I said, this is your gateway to go in and apply for the state. They get to keep that recognition for three years, and we'll find out on May 13th because they're automatically put into the national school of character. How neat would that be and wonderful uh, if that happened. And I think they have a really good chance. Our six pillar uh, survey comes out. I send it out to the schools. Nobody says I'm not going to do it. That's pretty phenomenal when I hear other people say there's a lot of surveys going on and we can't use one more survey. And I hear other people say we can't get that done. They embrace character counts, what can I say? And that's so important. And it's out there in the community. It's become an integral part, and it's due to our board members, our volunteers, the support of our community members. It's truly a grassroots effort. And I'm sure Mike Clark, in 1999, when that was brought up by Wayne Humphreys, couldn't envision where we'd be today going on 15 years. So it's pretty phenomenal. Just to leave a quote, Margaret Mead, her quote of, just to paraphrase, paraphrase um, change never really comes about by one person, but by a committed group of citizens. Well, that's been shown by here. One or two people stood up and said, could we possibly have something like character counts in our community? 
The idea grew and then it is so many people. So the power of one makes the power of many. And I think the other thing is, is that we've been willing to grow because within our Character Counts family, we try to encompass diversity. And some years ago, I got a phone call from Mary Shepard, who is now Mary Wang, about, hey, I have some individuals here who would like to be character coaches. What do you think? And I could hear from her voice, you're probably not going to go for it. And I told her, you don't know who you're talking to. <laughs> and they, they have been wonderful coaches, and it's helped them to grow in their ability to feel that they can make a difference. And they have taken to heart the anti-bullying message and also want to make certain that that goes out in the community, so they're working hard on that. So I have seen them grow, and it just makes my heart sing. And we now have some volunteers from the Caroline Center as well. So we feel, we got eighth grade, we have, every, all ages can be character coaches and all differing abilities because that's what character is all about. And if we don't walk the talk, we shouldn't be talking. <laughs> and I have to say thank you to our board members. They kind of took over, I, haven't, I didn't have anything to do with tonight. They left me out, which was fine. I have a lot of things I'm trying to do to close down. Um, it is sad to leave as coordinator. I've been with this organization for 14 to 15 years, started out as a gung-ho volunteer and never stopped. Um, but uh, I can look back, I'll look forward to where my journey is going to take me. I know a few things I'm going to do, who knows what's going to come up. I'm going to be out there in the community, you'll still hear from me. And I can also look back with a, a tear but a smile in my heart for where my journey has gone because it has been fabulous working with so many wonderful people to see an organization grow from a tiny thought into a huge tree of character. So I thank you all. Now we're going to have a, um, a tribute. Uh, I think it's a musical tribute. Is that correct? Uh, and uh, Ms. Reed, where is she? Pardon? It is Anaya. Oh. My very dear friend, Anaya Reed, has been practicing a song for us. This is for our character counts coach volunteers. And Miss Jackie. And
you know, it's, uh, it's kind of hard to, to come to a gathering like this and <clears throat> year after year. Um, it's, it's really like a family, and I think this is an example of it. Uh, we've, we've been able just to embrace so many uh, multi-generational, uh, I mean, just every facet of, of the community has, has chosen to participate with us in this initiative. From the beginning with uh, Chris Perkins, <laughs> with our, our, our first character cast coordinator, and now Jackie Carter, and we'll soon be looking for someone that, uh, I, don't, I can't say you, anybody ever can replace you people, but our next um, guiding stars, I think, maybe that would be a way to, to say it. Um, I think we have a presentation. And this is uh, for Jackie. Come on up here a second. Thank you. We just wanted to give you a something to remember us by, and not that you won't forget us, that's for sure. <laughs> but um, this is on behalf from the board and all the volunteers that you've touched over the years. It's just been incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We'd be remiss if we did not invite our president emeritus, Ms. Meredith, who was my fifth grade science teacher. <laughs> and again, a portion of our board. I just wanted everybody to see who you are. So we just thank you all. I'm a pastor's wife, so please forgive me. I, we want to thank you all for being here. And if you could just tell us your name and what company you're representing so everybody knows who the board is. My name is Lisa Marvel and I work for CNB. Hi, Chris Perkins, <laughs> a board member for quite a while now. <laughs> I'm Susan Coppage, I'm with the Department of Social Services. And Van Van Schoten with Chesapeake Helps. Kia Reed, Department of Aging. And Wayne Humphreys with Bayview Investment Council. Every year, I, when I look across the room and I think of all the people here and what you do, um, I was at a uh, training or a meeting and uh, I was introduced to a Tibetan greeting. And when people greet each other, they use an expression, Tashi Delay. And what that means is, I honor the greatness within you and each and every one of you, no matter what part you play, because you support this initiative, we certainly do honor the greatness within you. Thank you for being here this evening, and we hope to see you next year. And if you have neighbors or friends that would like to join our family, please invite them to do that. With that, I wish each and every one of you a good evening, and thanks again for coming.